Calculating damage is one of the most important aspects of every combat heavy game, and we're going to go over the two most common methods for actually figuring out how much damage you're going to apply based on the attack and defense stat of entities in your game. So in this project right here, I'm going to go ahead and run this, but essentially we have a character and an enemy. I can stab the enemy like this, and it's going to decrease their HP by 15. Now that 15 at the moment is just an arbitrary number. So if I go back into my script, you can see that I just have a couple stat variables at the top, and I have a weapon damage variable, which is just set to 15. And like I said, when the weapon actually enters this area, we are going to subtract the weapon damage from our HP. Now, this is a really common way that people handle damage, and this is fine, but let's say we wanted to level up the enemy or the player, we'd want a different outcome for the amount of damage we deal, and typically in games, you'll also have a defense stat. So you can see right here, I've defined my defense, and if I increase this to something like 10, we're going to have the very first method for calculating damage, and this is going to be subtracting our defense from the total attack power. So back when we enter this area, instead of setting our damage taken equal to the weapon damage, we're going to say it's equal to weapon damage minus defense. This way we're going to subtract our defense, which is 10, from the weapon damage, and our total damage taken is going to be 5. So let's go ahead and test this out. And you can see because the slime has more defense, we are now dealing a lot less damage. Now this technically works, but there is a really big issue with it. And that is if we have a very high defense value, like let's say 100, if we subtract 100 from our weapon damage, we're going to actually get a negative number. So we're gonna have a negative 85, and that's actually gonna heal the player. So let's check out what that looks like. We get negative 85, which we obviously don't want. So you might be saying to yourself, um, well, you'll just cap it at zero. So let's say we go back to our damage taken. Maybe we subtract our HP by the largest value out of zero and the actual damage. So let's say max of zero and the damage taken. And now if we fall below zero, we're gonna just cap it at zero so that we don't take a negative number. But then we run into another problem, and that is if we have a very high defense value, then sometimes you'll never actually be able to deal damage to the entity. So in this case, the slime is now really tanky, and if we try to deal damage, it's just gonna basically set it to zero because the defense is so high. So lucky for us, there's a very easy to implement algorithm that we can put into our game, and it's going to ensure that you can always deal at least some damage, even if your attack isn't as high as their defense. Now, the way we're gonna do this is I'm gonna go over into my scripts folder, right click, create a new script, and I like to call this one math because it's essentially gonna hold different functions that we can use for the math in our game. And then I'm gonna go to my project settings and just go to the globals tab, load it in. So we're gonna search for that script, auto loads, and then just add it as a math singleton. Now we can reference this anywhere, so we can basically use it directly from this slime, but I'm gonna open it up and let's create our damage calculation function. So inside of here, the function is gonna be called calculate damage. And inside of here, we're going to require the base damage, which will be a float. We're going to require the attack power of the attacker, a float as well. And then also the defense value of the target entity, which will be a float as well. Now, this entire function is going to return an integer because we don't want any decimal values. So let's do that. And then inside of here is where we can write our main math line. So it's going to be var total damage, and then we're gonna set this equal to our base damage, multiplied by, open parentheses, our attack value, and then divide this by, open another set of parentheses, our attack plus our defense. This is going to ensure that our base damage is based off of the attack divided by our attack and defense value. So this way we never go below zero and we also never go too close to zero so we can always deal at least some amount of damage. And this scales a lot better with like leveling systems of your stats especially. And the last thing we need to do here is obviously remember to return our total damage. And because we want it as an int, let's just make sure to put this entire thing in parentheses and then just round the entire value. Now to actually use this function, let's go back into the slime script, and then down here where we actually calculate the damage, I'm just going to instead set damage taken equal to math, and that's our singleton dot calculate damage. And inside of here, we first need a base damage, and the reason the algorithm is this way is in case you wanted to implement critical hits, or maybe you wanted your damage to vary super slightly with different attacks. So we can essentially create a damage multiplier for the attack. 
So let's just make that really quick. We'll say var base damage is equal to, this is our weapon damage value. And then let's say you had a critical hit. So you would just multiply it by two. And then we could use this value in the algorithm. So again, we'll pass in base damage and then we'll pass in the attack value, which is the weapon damage. And then we'll pass in the defense value, which is just our defense up here, defense. And now this will properly calculate our damage taken. We can take out this function here as well and just put the damage taken. And now if we test the game out one more time, we're gonna deal four damage, which is a lot better than the, the zero that we had initially, but this is scaled off of the slime's defense. So if I go back into my code and I decrease this defense to something more reasonable like 20, then we have a much more realistic damage calculation algorithm. And this is obviously like really modular. So it'll work with different entity stats based on their levels um, in your project. Anyways, that's gonna do it for the basic algorithm. You can alter some things. Like let's say you wanted to add critical hit chance inside of your damage calculation. You could you could put a chance calculation right here or add like elemental resistances. But I thought I'd give you guys just a really quick base since a lot of people do just use the damage minus defense. And that kind of an algorithm really isn't super ideal. So I thought I'd share this with you guys and I hope you can use it in your project. Anyways, leave a comment if you have any other more interesting algorithms you'd like to share. And also don't forget to like and subscribe. But thanks for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.